Yes. Yeah. So the question is, how do we, how do colleges and universities ensure that they're getting um, those skills? First of all, I don't think that we make it apparent where those skills are supposed to be learned. We think there is magic in the undergraduate, especially the residential experience, and we've always thought that students by osmosis would get these um, soft skills. First of all, we always thought that students came to college with some of those skills, right? And if you read any of the great books on how to raise, there's some great books that have come out in the last couple of years how to raise an adult, mindset, grit. We know that students are now coming to college with fewer of those skills than they had maybe 20 years ago. So that's problem number one. Number two is that we tend to think that they're just learned by osmosis, right? That we don't necessarily have specific learning outcomes, whether in the classroom or outside the classroom, to actually say, this is where these skills are going to be learned, number one. And number two, we're gonna measure them, right? Because that's the other thing we don't do. We don't measure them, and then third, and I know that this is a big area that's being worked on among, uh, among registrars and others in, in higher education is we don't communicate them to employers, right? So one of the things that I laughed when I found my transcript is that it was like a foreign language to me, right? It told me nothing about what I really learned in college. And for an employer, it's why assets like that are essentially useless, right? Because it, and, and in some ways why the degree itself, while still a signal, it's an important point, it's still a signal, are essentially useless to them to know if those students, and in this case it's from your own institution, have those skills. 